I'm Dale Fix and welcome to the seventh part of our X4 Foundations playthrough. Um, I did some work off camera, of course. I went around and started exploring some of the split territory, making sure we got satellites in place and set up the trade route a bit better. I uh, started sending this guy. I actually named him now, so I know which one is asking for assistance or, or whatever. So this one is still in memory of profit. Uh, he is going to be moving to split territory right now. I noticed that the amount of money he was making was starting to dry up. That is not something I want, so let's get rid of that. He is going to the Patriarch uh, territory. Now, as for the Patriarchy, we are currently at negative 8. It's slow. It will start gaining slowly, but I want to move into Argon Federation territory. I did say we were going to meet the Boron. I most likely am not going to do that this episode because we need to make sure that we can start selling goods at a faster rate. Also lost two mining ships here because of the uh, the hive mind pest. They have a base here somewhere. I can't deal with that. I don't have the ships to deal with that. So yeah, that's actually a huge bummer because it's always money. Now, speaking of that, we do have something going on right now, which is annoying. If we go to Encyclopedia, I want to go into ships. We're currently using out of memories. It is, I think, the Mercury Vanguard. You yeah, no, that's basic trade. Definitely the wrong one. That's from an old series, uh, which is the one that we're using Vanguard. Yeah, distribution mark one. So this is the one that we are currently using for our ships with a traveling engine mark one. They have a very nice amount of cargo space. Let's confirm that. The ship that I would like to move into is actually of split design. It's the Boa. Uh, let's uh, let's do the BT there. Um, it's also from an old series, Traveling Engine Mark 1 from Split. Great, let's remove that right now. Uh, anything else I would change? Combat Engines, Shield... See, no weapons. I, I usually don't go with weapons because I don't need them to attack anything. Uh, let's confirm that. So, the reason is following. Why do I want the BOA over the Venture, even though it will, you know, drastically reduce the amount of cargo storage? Well, he's twice as fast. Traveling speed of this ship is a thousand. Traveling speed of this ship is over two thousand. So doubling that up, it's twice as fast to get from point A to B. Also, the normal speed out of traveling drive is almost three times as high. Or four times, maybe. Uh, not quick math, not my thing. So, in that case, comparing them together, I would say this would go about 15,000 cubic meter in storage. Yes, the hull is lower. Yes, the shield is crap. We can always say, hey, I want this ship. But in terms of shielding... Uh, where are you? I would like you to go and pick up the Taladi shields. Let's confirm it right now. It's still not as much because this Venge has two shield mods and this only has one. I still feel that speed is way more important than anything else to get away from attackers. Especially those hives. Uh, let's take a look if the ice refinery now is finished. I did kind of mess up. Uh, I need you to now trade for Commander uh, Alpha. And we're going to be pausing here for a second. So what I did wrong with this is I only added one... Uh, container storage and we needed more because we need like 1800 in terms of energy cells that leaves very low amount uh, for the water still this will have no restrictions well that's not really true let's put that down to 17 and 
and we will also auto allocation will be off let's go to 1800 and then fill that up completely i should have done it like this for the eyes it doesn't matter because we can only trade with the tier zero distribution as you can see it's already filled up because it's been done for a while and that will leave us with uh, some way of doing this we need to set this up as a tier one distribution so he will not be selling it directly to others and this is where the distribution station comes in again because the problem that we have now and i said that i would absolutely make this as complicated as possible is that this is still distribution i've had some comments about you know you're starting a trade station with 1.8 million this is not a trade station, it's a distribution station. We'll have several of these distributing wares over our empire, which eventually will be vast. But this is not. Now, of course, we don't have to do that, but this would be set up the following. This would buy in tier one and it would sell for now with no restriction, but, but we, of course, have the other station requiring water. Now, since it's trading for tier one, and this was just going to be selling. We can now go to our Sunrise Factory and say, hey, let's see that overview. You're buying in, but we are not going to do that. This is now going to be tier one distribution. So he will start trading, and then it doesn't matter how much water we actually allocate to this storage. More might be better because it's, it's, it's longer trips. But we'll see how that will turn out in the future. Saving us cash. Because I actually took away all of its money. It is making money. Because this Kaleso is doing what it should be doing. And that's distributing. So after this is done. We'll actually make it more complicated. And it will just tear up constantly. What we eventually need. Is trade stations. Actual trade stations which will only allow the end product to go in or overflow and then sells onwards and those we will start thinking about where we should place them what value what what position because with a level five manager he can go pretty far if he was over here so would you one two three four uh let's say one two three four five all the way to crit five all the way over there Put it into grand he should be actually reaching one two three four five almost to our pos but we have the pos over here we can also use that as a trading station going one two three four five all the way over here so yeah there's a lot of ground to cover in the future and i'll like i said we are not rushing the series i'm not rushing the series i don't want to because i like playing the game this is a problem that we could should actually address. But I think we had too many miners anyways. Uh, let's take a quick look. Yeah, we, I think one more miner. And these if these guys get busy, they are less of a target. And yeah, we eventually need to help the Taladi dealing with those pests. And for that, we need a large ship. There's two ships that we could get. Uh, one is from the Terrans, but that requires a lot of work. The other one is in Faulty Logic, somewhere over here, I think. Um, but one sh ship is not going to be enough to deal with a hive. And we also found a hive. And I actually confirmed it to be a hive. Of course, it was off camera. I flew to about here. I saw the structure and I was like, yeah, let's, let, let's not do that. <laughs> let's not go there. So for now, we are going towards the Argon Federation. We'll be exploring. I know there's a few of the data vaults that we missed. And I do want to grab them. So let's head out to Morningstar. Uh, as I'm watching this uh, plunder of Phoenix. There is another thing that we can do. And it just crossed my mind. We do need some marines. A whole bunch of them actually. Or multiple runs. We can try getting the... What's the ship's name again? Um, they added it with uh, the Vigat Syndicate. Uh, it's it's that ship that you can deck out completely. I have no clue what it's named at the moment. Uh, and I've used that as a 
transport ship for Marines, we can start getting those large ships just to deal with hive minds. That's something we should actually Entering look into. Star. Okay, let's go do a quick scan and take a look at what's going on in this system. Hmm, that was a bit of a bleep. Ah. Well, I'll be damned. There you go. Go over there. Engaged. Yeah, meet you when we discover this system more. Because I'm actually worried about there's only one object in it that's the gate to the next system usually there's a bunch of stations in here and, and that starts to make me believe there is a lot of issues in this particular system because that usually happens only if say the xenon is attacking okay so let's grab the loot now this is of course argon federation territory that means that there will be illegal wares oh man i hate this part come here come here come here come here there we go yeah definitely illegal pass uh parts uh which i should actually eject docking granted i still love the look on that asp though Okay, uh, let's take command. We'll explore the system a bit more while renaming this quickly to done. Let's take a look. What do I have in my inventory? Uh, yeah, it's actually not too problematic. Group all illegals. And we will be doing a quick scan again. See, there are Xenons over here. Yeah, I was worried about that. I think the following has happened. The Xenon have been pushed back over here. And they decided it would most likely be better to go into this direction. And because we haven't seen this system in a while, we actually aren't sure these stations still survived. And I think they are not there anymore so i do want to look into that definitely going into the acceleration everything is going still in a straight line so i think we will see a lot of xenon present we need to check out oh my god i've seen that happen once in a series of mine is the argon federation like argon prime fell to the xenon <laughs> that would be something they it would actually turn into a completely Listen different again. series because that would mean that we might be better off uh, trying to save the Argon Federation from the Xenon. But I could also just do this off camera. I'm way too curious to find out what actually oh, happened Engaged. in a Dikva's choice. I'm way more excited about that than just going through these systems. I'll do that uh, most likely off camera. All right, how is the... How is this all looking? Okay, what's your problem? You apparently say you're not Entering able to sell. Three. Oh, he's actually now on its way. So yeah, that will actually go away. That's fine. That will go. Are you going to be making more profit again? See, that's why I moved one of my ships out. I'm thinking... Two was too many. Yeah, it dropped down. Uh, and we know... That we used to make. See so much more money over there. So dropping one of those ships. Is I think a good idea. Also we're at plus 16. Uh, relationship with the Taladi. The Ministry of Finance not so much. Patriarch still there. Yeah I want to look into Argon Federation. Because I quite like that turrets. Uh, we'll move to Argon Prime. Still seems that the majority of the system here is still alive. So I'm going to assume the Xenon haven't pushed too much. Then I'm still curious. Why did they not build 
more in their one system. Let's go. Let's go towards the Argon Federation. I might just put another ship to the Argon Federation, start building up that relationship. Like I said, we need money. Yeah, there is definitely a lot of ship uh, stations still here, which is good. Entering system, Argon Prime. Okay, so we'll go through Argon Prime. Quickly take a look. Ore refinery, carrier, ore refinery, solar power plant. We need to look into how well they are distributing wares and get a ship on that. Let's see. Or okay, um, let's put refined metals on. They are selling. <laughs> oh yeah, I love this. Uh, they're selling for under a hundred, and they're buying for one seventy. And there's a lot of these. There is definitely profit to be made. So let's get our Kestrel. And uh, we'll start telling him to drop down some satellites. We do need to explore a bit more here. And uh, this is what I really like about the game. I love the exploration and I'll just love building my own little empire. Taking my sweet ass time. I know some of you would really prefer it if I were to jump ahead to where I have a working empire. And I don't want to do that. Um, that That's not how I like to play my games. So we are definitely heading towards this unknown station. There's a gate into the next system. Eventually we'll do episodes where I will be just running missions. But right now I'm just a tiny bit too preoccupied just doing this. And we're making money, which is uh, most important. How is this going? Let's take a look. So we're no longer buying in water from other factions. This doesn't matter then, so we can just turn this up as automatic pricing. Uh, how much do I want to set this up for? Sunrise is a container, so the amount of water doesn't really matter at the moment. Uh, why at the moment? Because eventually, when our empire grows, we do want to take... You know, uh, less than that. This will be enough water for, I think, like four hours. Yeah, probably four hours the amount. Uh, let's quickly take a look at the ice refinery, how that is going. Seems that we are still shy energy. Let's do the automatic pricing. Let's just start this factory up. I think all that... Uh, we need to do is oh, you are not getting that much the ice is for free i think that we need an amount of uh, let's say 40,000 40,000 should be enough to get this started Uh, let's get rid of the energy for now. Drop the trade. There's an inactive... Oh, it, it's inactive. Seriously? I thought this was going to... One of those other Federation factories. Uh, why is my map not working? Yeah, map's not working. Okay, that means I need to... Okay, so map is working again, which is always nice. Could you just, you know, get off my seat, please? Thank you. All right, so it's still bad. Okay, inactive gate. There's an unknown object over there. That is then the other oh, gate. Uh, and silicon refinery. It's something we can go into as well. The uh, silicon wafer business. We could also just set up both uh, routes, I was thinking. Uh, in between that was loading. So we have the refined metals, we have the silicon wafers. So let's take a quick look. Silicon wafers sell for apparently 180. That's... Is that much? I don't think so. Don't really know until we actually know stations that... 
require them, I would say. Argon Federation doesn't need that. The shipyard, at least we found that. It's always nice. Autopilot. Let's go there. Autopilot. Engaged. And this will go into, I think, Black Hole Sun. Which is over here. And that will also have like the Vic Syndicate and all that. I do want to explore that region. I am still trying to uh, remember the name of that ship. Ooh, that's way better. Uh, let me quickly grab... Oh, that's an aqueduct. Let's take a look. I'm I'm sure. Uh, let me hide the ship for a second here. I'm sure this has a lot of lore. And I have no clue what that lore is about. I'm going to assume it has a lot to do with like X3 or 2. The games that I have but actually never played. I know, shame on me. I have like the Master Collection box. It's still one of my so-called prized possessions, right? But I've never played them. And uh, maybe I should change that in the future. I'd love to hear your uh, your thoughts on that. Uh, let me quickly do a long-range scan. Uh, we'll go ahead and go towards Black Hole Sun. There is a station over there. Yeah, like I said, we'll uh, we'll use the uh, the Kestrel as well to go to these unknown object. That's probably a satellite. Let's take a look. Unknown object. Can we take a look at that? I'll really see. Yeah, that's a satellite. Okay, never mind. That's uh, it's, well, I was hoping it was um, you know uh, a data vault. Engaged. Okay, you are dropping one over there. Um, we could start that, uh, that ship up already. I want you, Kestrel, to go there, explore it. And we could also send them to the jump gate. Look, I don't want my ships to go in this hectical shape. That I, I usually just do and then go in it to, to, till we find all of the stations. I, I want to play it differently this time. So yeah, that, that will definitely change. How is this going? It seems that we are getting all of the energy cells we need and we still have money. How long is that going to take? It's actually coming in as we speak. So that water will be in here. It's 8,000. That is... Just a little over an hour until it's full. So that's good. I like that. Oh, I can't wait to have one of these ships. Look at them go as a fleet. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. Mm, okay. Uh, what we can do is... Go to this jump gate. Go to the Vic Syndicate. I can't wait for the, um, for the upcoming update. That I can actually see... Shields and hull. That's so good. That is so... I've been waiting for that to happen for such a long time. Oh, here we go. Entering system. Windfall. There's the endeavor. Now, I don't think we have illegal wares on board. And you need to have an illegal ware on board for him to... I think contact you. Last order could not be completed. Uh, because you don't have satellites, I think. Let's take a look. Yeah, he's out of satellites. That's fine. Let's see. Stations. Object. Uh, would that actually be an object? I'm thinking it might be a satellite. There is definitely a gate over there, uh, which we should quickly just take. We'll eventually start doing all of the missions, but right now, I just want to make sure that we uh, we get ourselves a good foundation for the Empire. Silent Witness. See, it is a Silent Witness one. I'll just quickly go through it. I think in this sector, there might be that ship that I was looking for. Entering Windfall 3, the Horde. Come on, 
Don't oh. Make this difficult, Britson. You're the one who broke the rules. Uh, we'll actually help him. What rules? I'm trying to make a living here. Okay, one last time. No illegal wares. <laughs> What's illegal then? What does illegal even mean in these parts? You're just taking whatever you want. Oh, quit whining. We're not taking anything that isn't already ours. You weren't supposed to get this far in the first place. You have no idea how important this is to me. It's all I have left. My family is starving. We can't have that. Of course I know that, idiot. It's how the business is run. Our lives are all just business, and you've made a miscalculation. Now drop your cargo. You know what? No, not this time. Riptide, you out there? Want to come and help settle a few scores? Uh, I'm not sure why you call me Riptide, but sure. The boss will be so mad. This is it. This is it. Come on. Final chance. A big mistake. Hey, you. This is syndicate business. Stay away or else. This is not what I signed up for. That's one. Relax. I want to take care of these small ones first. Um, there's another one. There you go. Sheep. The Great White. Cool. Cool name. Yeah, we'll deal with you first. Seem like a small ship. Yeah, definitely don't boost into those. You want to save up your shield, then just get behind him. Play around with your speed, because he is just lost. Just go over there. I think this will lead us to the system that has the the tidal wave. There we go. There's the water being brought in by our distribution ship. 707. So this is actually going to be making more and more money. That's perfect. I really like that. So, how much money do we have? Oh, almost 3 million. So, there's a thing that I kind of want to do. And that is, I want to get myself the energy cell uh, production. It's, it's used in every factory. It doesn't make you a lot of money. It's not very necessary either, because like an energy cell is... What, 17 credits? At most? But oh, this is windfall, nice. This is where you start if you start as one of those big guys. Awesome. Uh, anyways, I'll, um, I will most likely pick that up in between and we'll start making the base next time. I also want to look into... Uh, where's... and then we'll go to medical. Because that is where we could actually make actually good money. Uh, spices. Uh, I want the Taladi one. Okay, Sunrise Flash. So we need Spice 
energy, water. Now we have water, we have sunrise. We don't have spice. Uh, let's quickly take a look at spices. They, once again, need water and energy. So going energy and spices would actually almost finish our route to medical supplies. So I might just try picking all of those up. And with that, yeah, I think that's, a, that's actually a good thing to do next time while we also do some exploration and building up our empire. As for now, thank you for watching. I hope after the editing, there's <laughs> still a, some part of an episode going on. And I'll, uh, I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.